Welcome to the Mesonet Weather Report. I'm Wes Lee. Spring is just around the corner and with it will come some unwelcome visitors to Oklahoma crops. One of these critters will be the alfalfa weevil, an important insect pest to one of the state's forage crops. The alfalfa weevil is an interesting insect in that the adult lays its eggs in the fall and winter months and hides or estivates in the summer. These eggs require a certain number of heat units, about 150, before they begin hatching. This alfalfa weevil heat unit map for earlier this week shows some red colors that indicates hatching should have begun in the southern counties. Scouting for the insect larvae should begin now, at least in the southern third of the state. This year could be interesting on alfalfa weevils due to the excessive cold air that we received a few weeks ago. This graph is the accumulation of heat units at Chickasha. Notice the flat red line where the cold air stopped alfalfa weevil development for two weeks. It looks like winter is losing its grip on the state as the red colors on this map means warmer than normal air is forecasted for the state next week. Gary is up next with the latest rainfall maps. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well the first week of meteorological spring, which runs from March through to the end of May, got off to a pretty glorious start compared to what we had in February. We do have some problems with the drought monitor, however, and we are going to take a look ahead, so let's get right to it. Well, we got some good news on the drought monitor, and we got some bad news. It seems it's that way every week. Uh, down in South Central Oklahoma, we did get rid of a little bit of moderate drought, but we added a little bit of moderate drought, so it was a give and take there. And then in the Southwest, we got rid of some of the extreme drought, that red color. So it was a good uh, week for that area. But up in the far northwest, in the northwestern panhandle, we got more of that extreme drought in the red area. So again, a little bit of give and take, as it is each week, it appears, with the U.S. Drought Monitor for Oklahoma. Now we can see some of the problem, but some of the cure as well, and we look at the last 30 days. And this includes some of that snowfall uh, from the big Arctic outbreak during February. Uh, we got some good, decent moisture down in the far southeast and also parts of south central Oklahoma. That's where we had a little bit of improvement. Also some decent moisture in the far southwest, a little bit of improvement there. And then in the uh, far northwestern part of the Oklahoma Panhandle, uh, 19 hundredths of an inch of rain or, or liquid equivalent uh, moisture. So that didn't lend to any improvements and that's where we got the actually degradation into the extreme drought category. We see increased odds of above normal temperatures across the entire state, but especially the southwestern portions of Oklahoma. We see increased odds of below normal precipitation across the entire state, save for the far eastern sections, um, but those increased odds are increased in the western panhandle and the western half of the state. So any moisture we get uh, through the next couple of weeks will help uh, curtail some of that drought expansion in the northwest, also down in south central Oklahoma, and maybe help improve it in other places. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.